Hello, this is Colin Goebel. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to write code in C++ to convert ASCII characters into their decimal coded equivalent, and how, conversely, to convert a decimal number into the character that it represents. The coding is done by the American Standard Code for Information Interchange, and one URL that you can refer to to look at the ASCII table is ASCIItable.com. I've pulled it up on the screen here. The way to look at this table is to observe that if we take a particular letter, a capital A, say, which you might enter on the keyboard, that that is encoded inside the computer as a decimal 65. Alternatively, the same number in hexadecimal is 41 and in octal notation as 101. Now, for the purpose of this assignment, you really don't need to worry about hexadecimal and octal. Those are just different numeric representations. The thing that's important here is that the character A is encoded as a decimal 65. Now, when you look at this table, you'll see there are most of the characters on the keyboard, space characters, um, non-alphanumeric characters, digits, and so on. By the way, note that the character 0 is not encoded as a decimal zero. That's um, something that worthy of noting. And down here at the bottom of the table, you'll note that the biggest number is 127. So the characters on the keyboard are encoded between zero at the beginning and 127 at the end. Now there is, in fact, an extended character set which goes from 128 up to 255, which includes a lot of line drawing characters and European accented characters, but we don't need to bother about those, at least for the purpose of this assignment or the, the class this term. So we need to focus on the characters in this table here, the characters between 0 and 127. Okay, let's look at the program. So in this particular case, let's run it and show you how it works. There's a simple menu-driven interface that asks you what you want to do. Let's suppose we want to convert ASCII to decimal. Okay, so if we enter a letter capital A, say, it tells us that the ASCII code for the letter A is 65. Of course, if we were to go the other way and convert 65 into, into a character, the letter represented by decimal 65 is the letter A. Okay, this program is a short loop that lets us convert as many as we want. We'll quit out of that with menu entry number three and return to the program. Okay, the way the program is written, there's a Boolean variable called finished, which we will set to true if the user enters the selection three. Otherwise, we'll be in a loop that looks at the user prompts and does what the user asks until the user selects entry 3, which was quit. Notice that the letter that we're going to be processing is of type char, a single character, and the decimal code, the ASCII code, the, the numeric code that represents that letter is of type int. So those two declarations are very important. Letter is of type char, ASCII code is of type int. Okay, here's a simple loop. All the time the user is not finished, and the thing that sets the finished variable to true, by the way, is case three down here. If the user selects three on the menu, we set finished to true, and that causes the loop, the while loop to terminate. If the user chooses one, we ask the user to enter a letter. Then we ask, we, we read the letter that the users entered. Notice, remember, the letter was of type char. And then here's the important line of code, static cast int, and then letter in parentheses. That expression there converts the char to type int. And the way it converts it is it gives you the integer, which is the decimal equivalent of the, of the letter that was input, the char that was input. We store that in the integer variable ASCII code. So the output statement here then outputs the letter as a letter because a letter is of type char, and then it outputs the value of ASCII code, which was of type int. That's of type char, ASCII code is of type int. 
The other way around, we ask the user to enter a number, we read in an integer. Of course, if it's less than 0 or greater than 127, that's an error because we're only going to process the first page of the ASCII code table. Otherwise, if it's in range, we do the, the static cast the other way around. We take the ASCII code, which is of type int, and we convert it to being of type char, and we store the converted value in the variable called letter, which was declared to be of type char. We then output the ASCII code, which is decimal, which is a number, and then we output the letter, the letter that it is equivalent to, which is of type char. Thank you. That should show you how to convert back and forth between chars and their decimal equivalent.